Welcome to another 90 second website builder video tutorial. I'm Greg Hughes. One of the great things about this software is that you don't have to deal with HTML code and all that stuff if you don't want to. But another great thing about 90 second website builder is if you want to work with code, you can. It allows you a way to do that. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can place snippets of code into your project, maybe a snippet of code you would get from a third party. But before we do that, let me talk to you a little bit about the structure of an HTML document. Now, I know that sounds kind of geeky and boring, but it's important for you to know how HTML works basically if you're going to work with some of the code. So let's go look at the code behind a website. Here's a website. I'm going to go look, I'm going to get the code for this. And I know it looks like a lot of gibberish if you're not used to this stuff, but this will be pretty simple. Most website documents, at least the ones that are HTML documents, are broken into kind of three sections. First of all, the whole page is called an HTML page. And so all of the code is kept within what's called an HTML tag. And here's what a tag looks like. I'm going to select this. That's an opening tag. Anytime you see those little greater than, less than signs, we're beginning a section of a website. And here we're beginning the HTML section of the website at the very beginning. This means the entire page is going to have HTML on it. If I go to the bottom of the page, we'll see the closing tag. You'll see down here where it has a very similar syntax, but there's a little forward slash. That means we're closing the tag. And what this means is everything between these two tags is part of this HTML document. But there are two other sections within the HTML document major sections that make up a website. One's called the head tag, and the other part is the body. The body is the part that where all the design goes, all the part that you see when you look at your website. For example, when you preview it or when you publish it to the web. The head part of your website is mostly where just code and other attributes go that aren't normally seen. So you can see at the top of this HTML document, we have the opening head tag. So this is where all the head stuff is going to be stored. It starts here and then it would end where the head tag ends. So let's go down. All this stuff is stored in the head. All this stuff is in the head. And then we get down to the very bottom of the head tag, right? Here's the closing head tag. So everything above this is all stuff that has to be stored in the head tag. Well, what kind of things are stored in the head tag that aren't stored in the body? Well, for example, Google Analytics code, as you can see, I have some right here. If you're going to tell Google about your website in your Google Webmasters account, they give you an analytics code to paste into the head part of your website. A lot of times when you're using JavaScript, some other third party code, they'll tell you put this part of the code in the head tag. Well, that's what it means. It means to store it above this closing head tag and below the opening head tag, which we saw up here. So that's the top half section of your website. The body tag is where all of the actual design stuff begins. The body part is the part that's seen. And you can see that begins right here. So here's the opening body tag. And if we go to the bottom of the page, we'll see that close. Here's the closing part. And everything above this up to the opening body tag is all stored in the body, the part that's seen, the design part. Okay, so that's a very basic lesson in the structure of an HTML website. Now that's going to matter to you when you go to use different snippets of code and you want to paste them into your existing project in 90 Second Website Builder. So let's minimize these and let's talk about that. There are two ways to put code, HTML code, into your project. The most common and the obvious one is to go to the advanced tools and grab the HTML tool and simply drag a box out here and then double click on it and it gives you a big place where you're going to put that code. You can just paste it right into this box. Now you'll notice that there are different types of code and that's why this menu bar is here. Most of the time you're just going to use this. This option tells us that the kind of code we're going to use is the kind of code that is going to be positioned on our website. Not all code will be positioned because not all of it will need to be but some of it will. So let me show you what I mean. We're going to use this particular type to place in code for, let's say, an opt-in form. So I went to my Aweber autoresponder account. I'll get some code. And here's what they gave me. They gave me all this 
all this code. There's a bunch of stuff here. This, all of this comes from my autoresponder service. I'm going to copy it. And let's say I wanted to put an opt-in form right here. Well, I simply paste that code in here. And by the way, I can call this something if I want to. That's just for my own sake, so I can recognize it later. And I do want to use this div tag. That means I want to be able to position this form on the page where I want it. So that's why I've selected this. I'm going to say OK. And even though we can't see it right now in design mode, that's because it's code that we're working with. I can preview it in this particular case. So I'm going to click F5 and you'll see, yeah, there's my page with the opt-in form that I got from Aweber. That's what this is what this code is doing for us. And in fact, let me close this. If I move it around, you can see because it's using that div tag setting, I'll move it way over here so you can see the difference. Let's preview again. You'll notice that the form is now down in this corner. That's because we're using a code that can be positioned. Okay, enough of that. So there are other options. Sometimes you don't need the code to be positioned. You can put the code in other parts of your website. I'll show you how. So here are some options. So for example, let's say we wanted to put that Google Analytics code and Google says, well, that needs to go in between the head tags. So we would select this option and paste our Google Analytics code in here. You can also put code inside the body tag. And this is a, this is a particular kind of code that I'll show you later on. That's different than after the body tag. I know it sounds the same, but I'll show you in a minute how that works. We could even put the code right before the page ends. That would be right before the closing body tag. So you see it gives us full control over where to put this stuff. We can even put code outside of the HTML tag. This would come after the closing HTML tag. You don't need to understand why all this does what it does. But when you come upon a situation where you need to place code on your website into a very specific place, you can do it this way. But let's look at another way of doing it. So I'm going to cancel out of this. I'm going to delete this. The other way to place HTML code on your website is to right click on the canvas and go to page HTML. Here you can see all these sections are broken up by these tabs. So whatever code I put in this box is going to go at the start of the page. Here I can put code between the head tags, etc. But this is an interesting way to do it because I can actually see where the code is going when I do it. Now using this option is a little bit limited because I, you'll notice I can't place code that's positionable. That's where I wanted to use the HTML tool. So this would not be a good way to put in an autoresponder code because I wouldn't have any control over where it lands on the page. It needs that div tag, it's called, in order to position it. So when I'm putting code in, like for a form or something, I want to use that HTML tool. But when it's not positionable, for example, it's, say, Google Analytics code, I would go here because Google Analytics tells me, here's your code, put it inside the head tags. I simply select this tab. Let me go get my Google Analytics code. So here's the code Google gave me. I'm going to paste it in. And you can see as I paste it in, it appears up here in this window instantly, which shows me where the code is going. It's inside the head tags, just like it's supposed to. Here's the closing head tag. So that's really a convenient feature. If I wanted to put something inside the, the body tags or whatever, I would click on these tabs. And you'll notice, since I have code in here, there's a little asterisk on this tab that shows me I do have some manually placed code in the tab. Now there comes a time, sometimes, where you want to put, uh, and this is a very special kind of code, you might want to put a style code inside the body tag. Here's where you do that. I'm just going to type in some gibberish so you can see where it goes. As I type, you'll see if we go down and look at the body tag. Here's the, here's the stuff that I just typed. It actually becomes part of the opening tag. There's actually a time to do that. Let me delete that. Let's go look at that again. So I've taken it out. So there's the body tag. But sometimes I want to put code right after the tag. That would look like this. So I'm typing some gibberish in there so you can see. So you see the difference? This actually came after the opening tag. This is a blank website, so there's nothing between the body tags now except for my little gibberish here. So here's the opening and there's the closing tag. I can even put code right at the very end of the body. In other words, right before the body tag closes, I'll put some code in there and you can see 
it lands right before the end of the page. And I can even put code at the end of the page. That means after the HTML tag. And there's, on rare occasion, there's a time to do that. And it's good to know that you can using this feature. Okay, so let me get rid of all this stuff because this isn't real code. That's just a bunch of garbage that won't do anything. But this one is real. This is a Google Analytics code. Hopefully that's not too complicated and you really don't need to know what all this code does. What you really need to know is that 90 Second Website Builder allows you to place code exactly where you want it between using these two tools. Whether the page HTML feature that we're using here works for you or if you use the HTML tool to place your code in such a way that you can drag and drop it into place. So hopefully that will help you know just a little bit more about working with code if you really want to in 90 Second Website Builder.